Hi, I'm Mary Catherine, and welcome to my table. Well, it's officially football season here in the South. We love our football, and we love our tailgate parties. And I've got a great dip that you're going to want to stay around for because it is delicious anytime, but it's a great addition to any tailgate party. Make this corn dip with me, and your fans are going to love it. Okay, our ingredients are simple for this corn dip. We're going to start... Today, we have a can of the Summer Crisp uh, Mexican-style corn. Um, the recipe actually calls for the shoe peg corn, and that's delicious in it. But this is what I have today, and it's what we're going to use. I've made it with different kinds of corn, and it always turns out delicious. So that's what we're using now. So you want to drain that can really well. And then you have a can of Rotel, which is also drained really well. So we're going to pop it in the bowl with it. Okay, and then I've already got measured out one cup of salsa, and you can use whatever kind of salsa you prefer. This is all medium heat, the Rotel and the salsa. If you like things spicier, you can use the hot uh, version of salsa or the, or the hotter Rotel. This is a cup of mayonnaise. We're gonna add that to it. We have two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. And that's just all gonna go in there. And then the ingredient that makes this so creamy is the whipped cream cheese. And so we're gonna use 16 ounces of this today. So we've got 12 ounces in one container. There we go. And so I have another container that I'm going to get a little bit out of just to kind of complete that 16 ounces. And this is another thing that I've made it before with just 12 ounces, if that's all I had. And you really can't mess up this corn dip. It turns out great no matter what. But if you use the full 16 ounces, you get a little bit creamier and fluffier corn dip and I like that and I'm making it for a special event this weekend so I want it to be the best it can be but it's delicious even if you don't follow the recipe to a tea so then it's just a matter of stirring this all together and mixing it well and this is the kind of dish that it's just gonna get better and better after it sits for a day or two in the fridge. So I'm making this just a day or two ahead of when I need it. Um, but it's perfect just the way it is right now. It's delicious now too. So if you need to make it that day and use it that day, that's great. Um, but like I said, this is just a cool creamy dip with you know some of those veggies in it. Like you know you get the tomatoes and the onions and the peppers and, and the corn in it. And it makes a really good addition to a summer barbecue or to a tailgate party or just lots of things. So that's really all there is to it. You can see how it's kind of come together. It has a nice creamy look to it. And this pairs really well with either tortilla chips or the little um, Frito scoops. And so I've got those today. And I'm going to give it a taste with one of my Frito scoops. A little corn chip. Okay, here we go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Give the cameraman one. I can get the cameraman one. Yeah. It's just full of flavor. It's really good. This is a little different than other dips you might have with all those added veggies, but it's just really yummy. So I hope you'll make it for your family today. Thanks so much for joining me at Mary Catherine's Table. I hope you try this corn dip today. If you like this content, hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you think. And remember, go out and find someone today who needs a little bit of kindness and give them some of yours.